Mm. That is very flavorful. In this episode, we're going to a fine dining Filipino restaurant. I brought a good friend of mine from Sweden. His name is Sebastian. And he sure knows how to dress apart for fine dining restaurants. Really liking Brussels so far. It's very charming. A lot of old looking houses, but like a historical kind of way. Like even like the patios. When it looks like that, it's really beautiful. It's a very quaint neighborhood. A lot of like hipster looking. Is that a bar? Maybe. Ah, I could live here. This is like the first 15 minutes. I'm already overreacting. <laughs> but it's so pretty. So we decided to walk around the city first, try a bunch of touristy stuff. Brussels is amazing. It's very multicultural. You can see it around you. There's a lot of Dutch people, French people, a lot of Flemish, and a lot of expats too. Holy shit, it's made of gold. Holy crap, what is this place? So we went to one of the oldest restaurants here in Brussels called Chez Lyon. We got the Moule Fritz, which is the national dish here in Brussels, along with some Belgian beer, of course. That was really good. So the restaurant we're going to is fine dining, it's a little bit fancy. So me and Sebastian decided to do some ukai ukai. Find me a suit jacket. Oh wow. That's perfect. Looks good man. Got my haul now. So this is Humphrey. This is their Filipino menu. You get a seven course meal. Look how beautiful this place is. Sebastian eating chicharron casually. The crunch. It's so good. <laughs> the fanciest chicharron I've seen in my life. So, per usual with these fine dining places, the portions are kind of small, but they're very, very flavorful. They're using a bunch of familiar flavors that are Filipino ish. But it's really, really good. You can see that there's mussels again, the hong. It's the national dish, baby. That lumpia is the best lumpia I've ever had in my life. That was like an explosion of flavor in your mouth. Mm, that is very flavorful. Yeah. Top three. Oh. It's and it's just a spring roll, man. And it, it's so incredible. Wow. Try 
right? The patis. The patis. The patis is this right here. Be careful though, because that's super salty. Yeah. So either you put it on the fish. Yeah. Just a little bit. So it adds flavor to it because right now it's kind of like you know, very bland, right? Just let me know. That might be too intense. A little bit of that too to balance it out. <laughs> it's intense, right? Yeah. What is that? The patis. <laughs> Your new best friend. The patis. We finished everything so fast. What can you say about it? I hope there's more, but if that if that is it, oh my god, oh my god, man, that was incredible. That was incredible. So we already checked out. This is the final day. Um, you can see Sebastian taking pictures of the apartment for the last day. Yeah, we're gonna bounce. We're gonna check out. One more place though before we go, there's this cafe that's also Filipino. Yeah. I'm gonna go to that right now. On the way to the airport, we actually stumbled upon this coffee shop and it's Filipino. It's called Good Phil. Outside seating. Just sit around, hang out, order your coffee. Super nice. And yeah, they're serving longanisa bowls. That was such a pleasant surprise. We were super excited. That was that was Jude. He is running the place. Yep. So good. Thank Welcome you, Jude. Welcome to Brussels. Thank you, Jude. How was um, your trip? So good. So good. One of the better, better ones. Yeah. Excited to go back? <laughs> Copenhagen vibes. Hey yo. Hey yo. <laughs> The biggest city boy.